Mm, hello everyone, uh, it's me Tofik again. Uh, as we, as our last video, we have discussed about the knock commerce, uh, the basic of knock commerce and how it looks and how it feels. Uh, as promised earlier, today we'll talk about the knock commerce theme. And before talking about that, uh, I'm just assuming that you all know about the .NET MVC, how the model view controller worked in .NET. And uh, after that, uh, from here, I will go to the theme concept. But however, I'll give you some uh, firm knowledge about it. Do not, don't, need, don't need to worry. Uh, so let's go to this page. So last day, on the same side, you can see on the same side, I have shown you some different thing, right? So this is a theme. Uh, and this website looks like this on the same theme same theme i can make it look like something different like now i have chosen another theme and you will see the view will change so as we enter you can see on the same custom on the same website on the same product the theme just changed isn't it interesting Okay, uh, so now uh, in the admin area, you'll see here is uh, general settings. Under general settings, uh, customer owner or administration administrator can uh, choose a theme. Like to, uh, now I have choose from here, but when we deploy a site, the customer can choose a theme from there. Now in the front end demo, there is no other theme available. That's why it is not showing. But whenever there will be theme more than one, there will be options. Like now it is in the default clean. But if there are more than one theme in the code, uh, there will be multiple theme. And the uh, front uh, admin can change that. OK. So as, you, as I already said about the model view controller concept, uh, what .NET actually do? When uh, you configure a controller and when you want to go so on some route, uh, the view engine, the view engine searches for a name under the view folder with the controller name, and under that it search for a method name. Search for a method name under another folder or under a CSS HTML file under the with this method name. So how we develop this theme? So you can see on NoCommerce there are a theme folder that is called default clean. So you can have multiple theme here. So let me just go through it first. So when, when .NET comes to under the view folder, it will search for view like it's for home controller, the index method, it's index controller, or under news, list, news item, these are method names. But uh, so no course won't find it under the theme. So how this theme works then? Okay, so for that, what NopCommerce coding did uh, we have modified the view location expander. We have told the view location expander actually not told. We coded it like that. So uh, the code goes to themes folder too. So when it is searching for views, now it will also go to go under the theme folder and under this theme, it will go to the th by theme name and there is also a views. It will search for shared or it will search for the any specific folder names. So uh, like if I give you an example, previously it was searching for customer. Under customer, the, there is check username ability. So now when the view engine will come to look for the check username ability, it will look it here. And also it will look it under the theme folder. And if it finds the, the exact same directory under theme folder, it will give the priority to theme folder because we coded it like this. So we will not go to the technical part, uh, a brief here, but this is, this is this video is just to give you some idea about how the themes work. So I hope you get the idea and afterwards we can also talk about in detail. Uh, till then, bye bye.